Hello, welcome to Sun Moon Star Tarot. My name is Sheena. I want to thank you for tuning in today. These next four bell sounds are to align us and to bless this reading. This is what is angel number 1111 trying to tell you. This is for all signs, obviously. So if you keep seeing um, angel number 1111, we're just going to go ahead and see what your guides slash um, higher self is trying to tell you with seeing those repeat numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle. So what is angel number 1111 telling this person to and this is the way to, what are you trying to communicate to them? We have the Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords, excuse me, coming in. On the bottom of the deck, I pop out at me. Right, so this four cards, what are you trying to tell me? this person by giving me the angel numbers? 11, 11. Alright, so we have the Chariot. So movement is needed at this time if you are being stagnant. Or if you are hesitating with something, Spirit is encouraging you to take that leap of faith. And then we have the Nine of Wands. So we have a culmination of something. So a culmination of all of your hard work that is coming and you're about to receive a reward. Yeah, you're about to receive a reward. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles. So you are about to harvest some abundance into your life. Um, but this only happens when you move forward. And one more card, please, about what are you trying to tell this person with angel number 1111? And beautiful. You have a fool. So a new beginning that requires a certain sense of naivety and a certain sense of innocence and a certain sense of you just kind of like trusting in the universe. And then we have a ten of swords. So something is needing to be shed. Something is coming to light for you. And perhaps... This is a harsh truth, but you need this truth to move on, to move into this uh, chariot energy, which is all about sevens. And seven is like your crown chakra. So perhaps your crown chakra is needed to be open at this time. And that looks like you being con disconnected from spirit. So spirit is moving you into reconnection with her and you are being called to lay down your burdens and and when you do this, you will call in this type of pinnacles energy here. So that's this is a beautiful spread, guys. So right now, a lot of journeying for you and a lot of new adventures, especially with the speaker and the chariot. That's like things happening quickly, swiftly. Um, and you kind of just taking that leap of faith into the unknown. And it may scare you with this ten of swords here. But it is destiny. It's what's supposed to happen. You have new direction, beautiful, with this under the chariot card here. So spirit is really pushing you in a new direction. So if, like I said, if you have been stagnant in any way, now is the time to kind of pick up your feet and go in a new direction. We do have crossroads coming in with it under this nine of wands. So it may, it may be hard for you to make this decision because it feels like you are not between a rock and a hard place, but you just view everything as being a good option. But there is one option that serves your best interest. And Spirit is calling you to tap into that energy. And then we do have, we have these cards popping out. Nostalgia, Nostalgia, <laughs> Mirroring and Fresh Stop. I'm going to put them back in because three came out. And there's too many spots here. But right now, this time, this, you may have, you may feel like you have been at this point before in your life. Um, and it's causing you to like kind of, not revert back to the old, but kind of see what happened in the past. So it is okay to use the past to make decisions, but realize that this is a fresh start that spirit is wanting to usher in here. So just keep that in mind of when you're making this decision. One more. That one went to pop up. We have tribe. So you may be finding your peoples. And by finding your peoples, I mean you may be finding your soul tribe. Or and this can even be look like finding your uh I don't want to say twin flame, but Finding a partner as well, because that is also a part of your soul tribe as well. And last card, we have a victim. So be aware about falling into this victim mentality, especially if you have been at this place before. You have the tools to make the decision. Bottom of the deck here, we do have divine feminine. 
so you are a divine feminine watching this or you're needing to embrace that divine feminine energy um spirit three cards to clarify this victim energy please um i'm gonna pick from the top oh this card came out <laughs> I love when I say I'm going to pick from the top, and they're like, oh, no, bitch, you're not. You're going to pick what I say you pick, but I'm going to pick the rest from the top. So we have communication, and we have settling, and the bottom of the deck, we have numbing. So be careful that you're not numbing out your guidance at this time. And with this victimhood mentality, that's what you kind of tend to do um, when you aren't really tapped and then tuned on your spirit. And then here we have the answer is yes. So if you are hesitating about anything, Spirit is saying the answer is yes. So please, I mean, and always take your intuitive guidance over my guidance, right? But we do have the answer is yes, communication, and that's like swiftness. And we do have the, uh, the chariot here, which is all about swift, like things happening quickly. So you might may be coming into some swift communication, but make so sure you are not settling. So this may be someone from your past. As the nostalgia card did come out so you may be dealing with someone from your past um if you consider dropping them the answer is yes drop them <laughs> um and just make sure they don't put you in that victimhood mentality space because that's never a good space to be in all right so i'm just gonna pull uh uh i guess four cards for guidance because i'm only at well two cards for guidance with this step this is the soul's journey um cards by john james van Pry. Fog. His last name is kind of weird. <laughs> uh, just two cards. Okay, we have imagination. I embrace ignoring the creative aspects of my mind. And that is that divine feminine energy coming in because divine feminine is creative. And she is very passive and she allows spirit to fill her. So if you're feeling empty, allow spirit to fill you. And then we do have forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love so perhaps that is that victimhood mentality coming in so if you have any resentment towards anyone heal that and because you are only blocking your own blessings and you are only blocking what is meant for you so if you still have hatred in your heart for anyone and not even hatred but just feelings of animosity towards someone you are being called to correct that so you can receive all the blessings that are meant for you in the bottom of the deck we have freedom I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. And again, going back to that victimhood card, victimhood means that you feel like the power is not in your hands. And this is spirit saying the power is in your hands. So manifest what you want and you can manifest the end or a beginning to any situation. Um, and if you're wanting a private reading, just leave a comment down below or you can visit my site at thesunmoonstarshow.com. And I can, you can book a reading there. I do offer five card readings for, I think it's $20. And that is a video reading, by the way. All of my readings are video readings. I do not offer email ones. Um, this card came up. Wow, guys. Intimacy. So you are calling in a twin flame. I knew this card was going to pop out, but I didn't want to get my hopes up because as a reader, you never want to be attached to the messages that you want to receive because again that that does not allow spirit to move but i saw this card um when i was shuffling uh when i first shuffled the cards and it came out again so you are calling in a twin flame union but you have to let go of this resentment and this victimhood mentality and you have to turn in this new direction in order to receive what spirit has for you all right but you are a divine feminine and you are calling in a divine masculine but you want all of your wounds to be healed before you can call in such a beautiful, strong connection. So look to where you need to be healed at, okay? And one more card, please, Spirit. Thank you. All right, and then we do have Sacred Wisdom. So right now, Spirit is really providing you with Sacred Wisdom to really make all the choices that need to be made. So if you feel like you, you can't make the choices, you can um because all that wisdom resides within you and again if you need, if you are needing a personal reading please reach out on me either on instagram or on my website or email me even it's the sun moon star child at gmail and then at the bottom of the deck here we do have boundaries so right now you are learning to build healthy boundaries and perhaps that is that new direction that you're needing to go in and perhaps this will alleviate that victimhood mentality but guys Thank you so much for watching. If this reading resonated, please make sure you like and then leave a comment down below and also subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys again soon. Namaste.